Hello, yo, wait, oh, this isn't facing the right way, yeah, it is, I don't even know if I'm in focus, whatever, what's happening, it's Rocco, uh, wow, it is echoey in here, I'm in my room, but as you can see, it's pretty stripped down now, isn't this eerie, I haven't seen this, th this, with no stuff on the walls, in a really long time, my god, I don't know why that's still there. But, man, it's just crazy, you know? It is so echoey in here. I've never heard that. Well, since we moved in, anyway. Um, sad. It is sad. Um, I thought this is my video. Cool, cool stuff. Cool shit. But if you're under 18, cool stuff. Um, uh, I know I, all my videos have been me thumbing through stuff, but I just keep on finding stuff. I figured I might as well take this opportunity and show it to you. So, anyway... This one's just cool stuff, uh, as you can see, yeah, I took all the stuff off my walls, there's a lot of stuff in my little gallery that had a little story behind it or two, so I thought maybe I'd show that stuff. Some of this, some of it may sound like bragging, uh, that's good, because it is. Um, anyway, some, some of this stuff, uh, again, don't know how fascinating it is, you know, pack some more figures here, anyway, dig into my box of stuff here, I'm gonna show you. Some of the things important to me that was in the gallery. This was hanging up. This is a um, anime. So, <clears throat> sorry, I had to clear my throat. Anime Expo badge. I kept this because uh, you know I have to say it's really cool. Uh, you know, people at these conventions make ribbons, and somebody made a Mega sixty four ribbon. That was our old friend cosplay Horatio. I have no idea where he is right now, um, but may the best best of luck to him. Those ribbons were tight. I think he made these other ones too. But, anyway, that was really special to me, so, that was there. Uh, this is my high school letter, pretty, pretty tight. What else we got in here? This is a prop from a play I was in or something. Uh, this was the first play I was in. This is a gavel. I was, uh, the commissioner in Damn Yankees. <clears throat> I had one scene that slammed that gavel. I had a big, powerful voice, hence they wanted me. I don't know. Anyway, um, um, people have seen version one or version two document. Oh, wait, version one? I think that's the documentary that's in. Please do not open this door. Cats are in here. We'll run outside. That that's been on my door uh, for years. I found we. I went to a, my family has a big Christmas Eve party every year. Huge family thing, and we went somewhere for it once. And this was on the door. I just thought it was funny, and I took it. Um. <clears throat> Time Magazine cover, when they announced the Xbox 360, two things are funny about this. One, the fact that it's red ringing, and two, j that picture is goofy as hell. Look at that. That made me laugh so hard that I hung it up. There's no other significance to this, other than that's just the stupidest cover. Uh, I can see him. Uh. Okay. Uh, other things special to me. Aquabat set list, when I saw them with... Puffy, awesome Japanese band. At least I thought they were then. I, I don't. I haven't heard them in a while. But uh, anyway, good set list. Fake commercials. Cat. There was a cat at some point. There was a bad guy at some point. Okay. This was just something I ripped off a wall when uh, we waited outside for the Nintendo Wii overnight. You know, it's funny, I filmed during that whole thing, but I feel like not much of that footage ever made it out. Uh, I know we did a podcast there, but, eh, anyway. Uh, alright, this sign's hilarious, this is something we ripped off a wall from an anime convention we went to. Take a second and see if you could spot why this was funny to us. Just take a second, soak it in. Ah, you found it! Uh... You'd be surprised how many people don't see it. But if you don't know, now you know. We thought it was funny. I took it. Uh, I met David Lieberhart, and he drew that for me. Um, I was in this. Um, that's just a good movie. Um... Okay, this is all getting kind of stupid now. Uh, and those are just some, that's an exclusive Comic-Con artwork I got. But this is cool. The original Dr. Pock beanie from like the first version one episodes. 
Um, and if some people noticed, there was actually a logo. I just wore this beanie backwards. But we didn't have any money for anything. So, uh, you know, I, I found this somewhere, and I was just like, well, we'll use that. You know, I didn't have the money even to buy a beanie, so we just used this ratty beanie. It's not even technically black. It's really, really dark blue. <laughs> but that's what we used. That's the original one. Oh, gee. I don't think we use this for that many episodes, though, because it's like, well, let's just get a nice black one. It's worth a few bucks. So, anyway, pretty dope. Um, okay, now this stuff is pretty interesting. This is really cool. Um, I used to really like The Office. I mean, I, the British version's great, but um, I, I also like the U.S. one. When it first came out, it was such a dry show. And the first couple episodes kind of imitated the U.K. Office, but... Season one and two of that show were really, they were really awkward, but then had a lot of heart to them too. And they, it was just a really good show. It, it's so sad to me what that show turned into. It really, really sucks in my opinion. But one cool person that was on that show is Jenna Fisher, who was Pam. And back in season one, the show didn't even have ratings. I mean, it was like on the brink of, I think being canceled. It wasn't doing very good. And during that era, Sean actually added her on MySpace way back in the day. Uh, gosh, this must have been 2005? She, he added her on MySpace, and um, it was her official MySpace. Like, she confirmed it and all that stuff. But, like, she didn't even have that many friends on there. I mean, now she's got, like, millions. Well, MySpace is dead. But, at the you know, she went on to have millions, and... But at the time, she had like 65 friends or something like that. It just wasn't that big of a show. Sean added her and would message her and talk to her on MySpace. And my birthday came around and he actually asked, Hey, could, do you think you could maybe so sign something for my, my friend for you know his birthday? She went even better and gave us... She sent Sean, mailed this to Sean, a photo. She went around and got it signed by everybody in the cast. That is really cool of her. Uh, Farago, happy birthday from you, friends. You know, whatever. Not gonna, you know, misspelling. You know, it happens. Uh, at the office, and yeah, it's signed by her and uh, the guy who played Jim Ryan. Uh, Steve Carell signed it, man. Rain Wilson. I mean, that that's that's so cool. So, regardless of how I feel about the show today, I can never forget what a cool favor that was. She did not have to do that. So. Shout out to Jenna Fisher. That was tight. That was really, really cool. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, this was this is art that I just thought was so funny, I wanted to frame it. Uh, Derek did this for the version 2 episode, Summer Semester. Can't front on that. That became a shirt. This is done by the artist uh, who designed a lot of the Japanese Power Rangers costumes. And somehow I ran into him at Comic-Con. Comic-Con one year, he was sitting at a booth and no one else recognized him. And someone pointed him out to me. Hey, this guy designs all the Sentai costumes. Whoa, okay. So I ran over to him and he he looked, I shook his hand and he looked at my badge and he was like, oh, okay. And then he drew all that. I made him sound really creepy just now. But um, anyway, the, here's the thing though. Can anyone out there translate his signature? Or what he says there. Because I actually, uh, honestly, I didn't know his name. I just n was introduced to him. His name tag said Ta Taro Yamada. Ta Taro Yamada. I'm probably saying that wrong. Anyway, but from what I understand, I, th I think that's like the Japanese equivalent of John Doe. So I don't think that's his real name. That's, that's just what I understand. Maybe that's wrong. I'm not that knowledgeable. But if anybody out there knows, that would be great. Okay, uh, this, another, uh, thing here is, uh, this was from Paul Schreier, a.k.a. Bulk in Power Rangers, there he is, uh, I pretty much see him every Comic-Con, and, you know, we filmed something that was in version 2, he makes a little cameo, but, he offered to sign this, so, that was cool, really cool of him, cool drawing, anyway, uh, and then, I'm trying to... You got a couple gifts here. When we filmed with Miyamoto, uh, when we did our Mario Brothers video with him, got a signed uh, gold, 
This is all dusty, unfortunately. But Gold's cartridge. It was on. Mar it was on March six, two thousand seven, and he signed it. That's really really cool. And then over here. Uh, I've had this up forever. It feels weird because, honestly, well, I feel weird once I've met people hanging their stuff up. Like, that's cool with Jenna Fisher and stuff, but, like, I haven't met them, so I can be okay with hanging that up. But, like, I feel weird having this stuff up now, especially with Hideo. Uh, back in the day when we first met him, he signed this for us, this calorie mate. Um... And, anyway, it always looked really empty in here, so, um, the last time we saw him, we got his business card and threw that in there, uh, too. But, again, it feels weird, like, I don't know if I'm gonna put that up. Like, that, like I, that, that, I feel really honored to get that stuff, but that's weird. Once you've met the person, it kinda, it, it's, like, weird having their stuff on your wall. Do you agree with that? I don't know. I used to have, like, a bad, it really sucked. I, I remember at one point I had a bad credit poster in here. And then, like, we filmed a version 3 episode with Dallas, and it was just like, oh, this is really awkward. This isn't even, like, cool. Like, I really support Bad Credit. I love the band Bad Credit, but, like, I can't have a poster up. Um, anyway, shout out, Dallas. You're cool. Um, I'll try to show any other cool stuff. Uh, I've already shown I got that. I got that from Damon Lindelof, and Carlton Cuse at Comic-Con got to talk to them, and then... Got that in exchange for the conversation. Or something like that. That's just a cool... Alright. Uh, got this signed by... This is a painting signed by... Jason David Frank was Tommy the Green Ranger. Don't front. Do not front on that. Do not front on that. Do not front on that. Uh... This is the Matrix Comics poster. I was really, uh, dude. Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, I've said this before. I'm one of the few people who digs all three Matrix movies. The the sequels are not good sequels. They st to me they stand on their own as some big three hour anime head explosion thing. The first movie is its own thing. That's my take on it. I dig them all in some way. But anyway, but the comics were great. I mean, even, they, I think a lot of these ran during the original movie, too, on their website. But the comics were awesome. I had the book. And I was one of the few people who, uh, like, two booths down from us at Comic-Con one year, the Wachowski brothers were at a booth just hanging out. They were not announced, and no one else at the con recognized them. They're really reclusive. You know, they don't do interviews or, or appear in stuff. But... Somehow my nerdy ass, you know, recognized them, and I said hi, and they, I think, I don't know, I don't know if they were surprised that I recognized them, I don't know, but anyway, they were really, really nice, I tried, I actually tried, because it was so, I knew it was so rare that they were there, I actually tried to film a, I tried to get them to do a cameo in a Mega64 video, but they were, like, not wanting to appear on camera, but... They did me one better, but they gave me this poster and actually signed it, this is pretty cool. Uh, Andy, uh, wrote, Rocco, thanks for pulling me from that flaming wreckage. I owe you my life. And I thought that was so funny. Uh, and I remember, uh, Larry was there. Larry might have a different name now. I'm not sure. But, uh, he, did, he, he, he was next to sign it and just looked and laughed at it for, like two minutes not knowing what to write, so he just put, I hope you like the new books. And he signed that there. But anyway, that was really cool of them. You know, like, that was they didn't have to do that. So anyway, okay, that was cool. This is, uh, that's some Haunted Mansion artwork right there. You can barely see this. More Haunted Mansion. And then this is a poster for Lost Live. I was there, uh, again, I showed the program for that before, but it was a live, sorry, I'm getting this out of the way, concert. Uh, it was like the rap party for Lost, basically. Like, the cast and crew was there, and they played music from the show and aired one of the last episodes, and that's a cool print, and that's the ticket that it came with. It's an Oceanic flight ticket, which I thought was awesome. Whoa, okay. Oh, that was heavy. All right, and then that is a... Got that at the Alamo Draft House. Uh, Godfather Part Two limited print. That's from Alamo Draft House in... Texas. When we went to visit Rooster Teeth, we saw some flicks there. That place is awesome. If you haven't heard about it, sorry. 
If you haven't heard about it, Alamo Draft House, you got to check that out. We were, I knocked a bunch of stuff over. We were eating burgers, drinking beer. I wasn't drinking beer. I don't, I don't do that. That's unsavory, but people were. Uh, and then, you know, when we watched Unstoppable, he couldn't stop that train. So anyway, that was tight. All right. So anyway, that, I think that's it. I think that's just about it. There's a Pirates of the Caribbean thing I haven't framed. I think I have enough Disney shit on my walls. What do you guys think? Anyway, um, sad. Do you have any cool stuff uh, that's valuable to you that's on your wall? Show a picture. Link to a picture. Talk about it. Whatever. Post it. I'm going to read all your stuff soon and talk about that in an upcoming video. Until then, bubble wrap transition. Bam. I'm just going to drop it. Fuck it. Ah, oh, shit.